Thanks for your company. The details now. One medical officer in the Krachi East Municipality attends to over 15,000 patients in a year. No administrative block and vehicle, one ward for all sexes. That's the reality at the Dambai Health Center in the Krachi East Municipality. The senior medical officer there, Dr. Mrs. Abigail Mausequist, suggests these conditions are affecting quality health delivery in the area. Correspondent Peter Seno has more in the following report. Grounded vehicles, no administrative block, with just one medical officer in the whole municipality, with a few auxiliary staff responding to over 14,000 clients in the Krachi East municipality, which also serves as the regional capital. With Rara Government Hospital currently serving as the regional hospital, which is an hour's drive away, referral cases from the Dambai Health Center have become a challenge. The other nearest facility is in the Krachi West District. Anoverbank is also an hour's drive away. These unfavorable conditions, Dr. Mrs. Abigail Quist says, are affecting quality health delivery in the area. Currently, we don't have a hospital in the whole of the municipality. In fact, this is the only big facility we have, and I'm the only doctor in the municipality. So I think uh, upgrading this place into at least a polyclinic before the regional hospital comes will go a long way to support the people of this municipality. Right now, we are in dying need of infrastructure. The Dambai Health Center also has one ward for all sexes and ages. This, the medical officer says, is not the best and a challenging situation for them at the center. But just one ward that uh, admits both children, females and males. There's an old structure that is being renovated by the assembly. The Krachi East Municipal Assembly. Uh, they haven't handed over to us yet, so we are really grateful for to them. But that we still need more because they are, the numbers are growing. Yes, it's a big challenge. It's a huge challenge. Of course, at least there should be a segregation between the children, the males, and the females. But this, we don't even have that at all. So when you're offering your services, it's, it's, it shouldn't be done anywhere like that. Of course, you should, the males should be separated from the females. So that is a very big challenge. So if you can get more of such structures so that the males are seen separately, the females are seen separately, so that they can have some privacy. She also reveals two of their vehicles are grounded and there is no official vehicle for administrative work and for outreach services. We don't have a vehicle at all. Yes, we don't, all our vehicles are broken down. So coming to work is a bit of a challenge because my house is quite far. I don't, I'm not resident in the facility premises, so I have to travel all the way to work, which is a big challenge. So if you can get a pickup for the facility. Now, our regional, medicals, uh, our regional health directorate is in Rara. So when we have to go for medicines and other things from there, going on outreach is, is a big challenge. So I think oh, it will benefit us a lot if we can also get a vehicle. The senior medical officer made the remarks in an interaction with Joy News after she received 2,700 pieces of face masks from MTN Ghana. MTN says they are only augmenting government efforts at combating the coronavirus pandemic. MTN being the number one telco in the country, uh, we feel that uh, we should support as part of our social responsibility. We should support the society with this pandemic that we are being faced with to ensure we all do away with uh, this pandemic. Uh, we came here today to support Dambai Health Centre so that the frontliners can still can uh, um, uh, attend to their patients who have been affected with this um, pandemic. This is a national thing we did and the company decided to break it down to the district level. Uh, so it is something we are doing it nationwide. Um, and with the team at Vota North, we went to um, Jessica and, and we are now here at uh, Dambai Health Center. Peter Senu for Joy News.